for the sign of Pisces. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Pisces, in the recent past we have flirt and flirt says extend your light-hearted energy to others. And flirt is paired with choice. Choice, it reads on the flip side of the card, for every action there is a reaction, so choose wisely. So I'm picking up that for some of you Pisces in the recent past, uh, you were probably flirtatious. You found it as, you found it to be a way to extend your energy, your fun side to others. And you knew that by doing this, you got a reaction. And you probably enjoyed that reaction. So, you chose wisely with your words and how you came towards people. And it looks like you chose to flirt. And if you didn't do this in the recent past, maybe that's something that you should have done. Just extend a fun energy to others. Or maybe that's something you might want to try. But that's what I pick up for a lot of Pisces for the recent past. Now let's move on over and let's take a look at the present time. We have the High Priestess and it's paired with Hermit. And I did say present. We're going on to the present. We already talked about the recent past. So for your present time, High Priestess and Hermit. High Priestess is a spiritual card. It, it can have some sexual overtones also. It can also mean that you're in a phase where you're much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to, it's tied to femininity, it's tied to the moon, it's tied to inspiration. This is a time that you You'll be able to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's going to be important that you pay attention to your dreams towards the end of March. Pay attention to your dreams. Even if you keep a dream diary or a journal, that's going to be a really good idea. Now, when the High Priestess talks about love and relationships, it can be a magical, mystical time for love for anyone interested in love and if you're a woman you could find people literally throwing themselves at you the problem is is that you'll attract both the good the bad and you've seen that you've heard about that movie the good the bad and the ugly you'll attract them all and it's not going to be always easy to tell which is which so you'll have the power of femininity at your disposal so at first glance it's going to seem great now the high priestess it's paired with the hermit card the hermit is a it's a also a, it can be a spiritual considered a spiritual card and it could have some something to do with institutions large organizations everything from a bank to an entire christian church now if you're familiar with the strength card it's sort of similar. Um, you could be in the frame of mind where you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you'll be able to clear your head. This is also a card about trying to do the right thing. But just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally. And not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So this hermit card when it talks about love and relationships it's possible that a romance someone from your past will be rekindled you're gonna have to ask yourself some questions though like is that what you really want because I'm look, looking at this picture in the card it seems that romantic relationships they're not currently on your priority list and if your hand says that you want nothing more than a romantic relationship. Try to look at your behavior. Does it, does it align with that analysis? If you're in a committed relationship and you get the hermit card, you might have been moving in different directions 
for a while. So make sure to make time and effort to stay connected in order to keep the sparks alive. So for your present high priestess and hermit, uh, a lot of people will be wanting your attention. They'll be attracted to you with this high priestess. Um, you could come across as mysterious or, or they just, a lot of people will just be drawn to you. I don't know if you've got pretty pictures on online, on social media, if you've got a large following somewhere, but yeah, they want to um, be your friend and your lover. But you're not really feeling it. You kind of just want to be alone. For some reason, you just feel like you'd rather just be in your head. Maybe clearing your mind, clearing some baggage. So you probably won't take any interest in all these other people that want want to um, have a piece of you. Yeah, so you'll be wanting to spend some time alone. These other, this all this attention is not on. It's not on your priority list. That's for sure with the Hermit card. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look at how your person is seeing you. They see you as a Six of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Cups is a card about nostalgia. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this picture, but this man, he's on his balcony. He's at the top of his his balcony or his deck and he's looking down on these six cups and he's got his hands on his hips like wow those cups sure don't look like they used to or something he's having some type of issue with them so this card is about nostalgia looking back on how things used to be it can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. It's important not to spend too much time thinking about the good old days. Because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start thinking that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So you don't want to do that. Uh, he's looking back on his neighborhood, like how it used to be. Because he's been there for 20 years and thinking, wow, this neighborhood is just, you know, it's not like it used to be. So, yeah, you want to be careful not to stay stuck in the past when you get the Six of Cups. When it talks about love and relationships, if you are currently in a romantic relationship, with this card, it indicates that a relationship needs to be refocused towards the future. Talk about your goals, dreams, and try new things. It's important, like I said, not to stay stuck in the past. On occasions, this card, it's about a reappearance of a long-lost love. And you might want to think long and hard before restarting an old romance because what do they always say? Exes are exes usually for a reason. So this is how your person is seeing you. They see you as someone who they're very familiar and comfortable with. Um, they also see you as this Four of Pentacles. Now this card is about fear, actually. Yeah, it's about fear. You, maybe you're holding on too tight to a situation or a lover or someone is attempting to do this to you. This is called clinging. It's very unhealthy. Because when true love allows for space, because true love, it allows space between lovers no matter what. Because no one can never really control another person. And if there's some single Pisces out there listening and you get the Four of Pentacles in a reading. You may need to realize that you'll have to step outside of your comfort zone. 
to make it happen. Because we all know true love, it just doesn't drop out of the sky. At least I haven't seen it do that. Um, but because you got this high priestess in your reading for the present time, maybe it will drop out of the sky for you. Yeah, remember we talked about how a lot of people don't want to get to know you for friendship and romance. So maybe you're going to get lucky like that, Pisces. But let's finish talking about how you're seeing your person. You're seeing them like this Four of Pentacles. You're seeing them as someone who's comfortable and familiar. Um, they could be a past person that you let back into your life. Or maybe a past person that you, that you are thinking about letting come back. Um, or it could be the person that you're dealing with, but they see you as, they see you as very familiar. There's probably a lot of happy memories there, but they also see you as clinging to this connection or maybe a situation in a really unhealthy way. Very unhealthy. It's, um, so they see you as probably resistant to change. Yeah, you don't want to let something go. You, you have anxiety and fear, so it causes you to cling. Very unhealthy. So that's how they see you. Now let's take a look at how you see your person. You see them as uh, Three of Wands and King of Wands. Yeah, the Three of Wands. You'll be finding your finances when you get the Three of Wands. They're going much better. They're picking up. In fact, you could start to feel like your proverbial ship is finally coming with the Three of Wands. Uh, you'll be feeling really strong with a good reason. You may finally experience some important success after you've been through some difficulties. The Three of Wands, it refers to work in an extremely positive way even if you don't work outside the home. It means that your efforts are seen, appreciated, and are well respected, so give yourself some credit. Now, the Three of Wands, when it talks about love and relationships, the relationships, uh, your romantic relationship, they're likely to be going well, but only if your partner is treating you as an equal. If they are not, it's probably time to move on and yeah, you might want to move on after you've made your complaints and position clear. You want to do that first. So, if you recently met someone new and you get this Three of Wands, just know this person, they hold you in really high regards. And if you're in the market for love and feel as though you don't have any prospects, you're probably spending too much time maybe indoors or on your career. So think about allowing more time for your personal life. So this is how you see your person. You see them as looking ahead, wanting to expand and continue to grow this connection. That's how you see them. And it's with this King of Wands. Now the King of Wands is a great, very good card in the tarot. It signifies that someone you care about they have protective and caring feelings about you and that they're willing to work hard if necessary to make the relationship work you may be in more than a usual well you may be more than usually focused on your work or career with this king of wands but remember to make time for romance even if you're single or you could end up with work being the only thing in your life. So that's how you're seeing your person. You're seeing them as this king of wands and this uh, three of wands. Like I said, the three of wands, you see them as uh, wanting to put in teamwork and a lot of effort, wanting this connection to expand and grow, but it's with this king of wands so you, 
Do you see them as having caring and protective feelings about you? Yeah, there's probably a lot of chemistry there. So they're willing to work hard on this relationship. And they want it to grow. They want the teamwork. So let's take a look at why it's all happening. It's happening due to the Two of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Now this Two of Cups, it's about romantic partnerships. But that's not its only connotation. It speaks of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card, it says that things, they'll be going really, really well. Really, really well for you. You'll be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content when you get this Two of Cups. When it talks about love and relationships, it represents true love, balance, partnerships, commitment, all the things that we all hope for when it comes to love and relationships. However, this doesn't mean that you can just do or say whatever and your love relationship is going to last. It only means that you have the real solid potential for true love and affection is there. And if you're looking for love and you get the Two of Cups, single Pisces, this is a signal that it's very likely to be coming in. It's coming in really soon. So relax or get ready. <laughs> Either way. So this is one of the reasons why it's happening because of two of, due to the Two of Cups. Um, this is an ideal partnership or your person is seeing you that way. Um, there's some harmony there. There's a union there. There's a deep connection with this Two of Cups. And it's also happening due to this Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is excellent when it comes to love, relationships. If you're committed, expected to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. If you're unattached, if this card it tells you that someone new who has what it takes to be in a new meaningful, deep love could be coming in. They're coming your way. So, like I said, get ready or relax. It's coming in with this Nine of Pentacles and Two of Cups. So, this is the other reason why it's happening, due to the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, things will be looking up. Any worries that, that you had in this connection, um, they'll be over for a while. Things will be better. They'll, the, the relationship will be going better than you thought possible. So make sure you enjoy you to enjoy this good energy and share what you have with others. Because Nine of Pentacles is just, it's an excellent card in the, in the tarot. It's uplifting, encouraging. And uh, this connection with the Nine of Pentacles, it could move to, to the next level. So then it could move up, up a level, or two, or three, because you got the Two of Cups there. You've got this uh, romantic love. You could go to proposal, marriage, with the Two of Cups. Um, you're your person's ideal partner. So that's why it's all happening. So, basically, for this reading, uh, you got the High Priestess, uh, who's has a lot of people drawn to them, wanting to get to know you for this Coming up towards the end of the March, there are a lot of people are attracted to you, Pisces. Maybe, maybe you know it and you, you won't know it, but you, I figure you will know it because it, they, they want to get to know you for friendship and romance, and then you just start feeling it. So you want some time alone. You need, it looks like you need some time to clear your, your head for some reason. So you'll be more interested in doing that rather than having all these pe people coming for you. And then we do have you looking back, or your person, they see you as looking back on how things used to be. Um, yeah. 
looking back or or like I said you're dealing with the past person and um, you're seeing them as the three of wands we talked about that but then we have why it's happening um, this is a very romantic partnership and it could go to the next level with this nine of Pentacles so you both really want it to work and I don't really see anything bad in this reading I really don't I really don't I really don't